The release of VE2017 introduces a new feature for thermal templates called HVAC methodology. When you create a new project, on the templates tab of the new project dialog, you have the option to toggle between Apache systems and Apache HVAC options. If it's your first time running VE2017, your HVAC methodology will be set to Apache systems by default. If you change this to Apache HVAC, Every future time you open the software and create a project, Apache HVAC will be the default. You don't have to come back to the screen and change it again if you don't want to. One of the reasons Apache Systems is the default is that Apache Systems method is unchanged from VE 2016. As you'll see shortly, the templates with Apache Systems selected as the methodology are as they were in VE 2016. If you select Apache HVAC as your methodology, by contrast, you will reduce the template parameters to those that are relevant to Apache HVAC. Using HVAC methodology also provides access to new functionality in the templates, new plenum space types, and new features to improve workflow for Apache HVAC users. So if you just open up the virtual environment, mine's always going to be set to Apache HVAC, and we'll talk about some of these differences here today. But in the building template manager, you'll find here's my default room template and there's my methodology for Apache HVAC. Now every template that I import into my project moving forward is going to have this same HVAC methodology based upon what was set on that previous screen. So if I imported templates through the PRM navigator, or if I use the master template wizard to import templates from another project, anything that gets imported is going to have this same HVAC methodology. If I were to change this to Apache Systems, any templates that I import are still going to have the Apache HVAC methodology because that was the setting when I created this project. So what's the difference between Apache Systems and Apache HVAC when I'm talking about HVAC methodology? The intent here is that you should use the Apache HVAC methodology if you're going to have an Apache HVAC file for use with your simulation. If you're not using Apache HVAC, you can leave this at Apache Systems. So what are some of the differences between the two? You saw even when I changed the pull-down menu, some of the options that are available here in the Building Template Manager are different. So for example, when I have Apache Systems selected, I have the ability to select which of my Apache Systems are going to condition my space. So I can use that familiar button, come in here, see any Apache Systems I have available, their configurations, and then I can select which of those I want to use for my space. When I select Apache HVAC, those options go away, and that's because I'm going to use an Apache HVAC file to define the air conditioning for my building. Something else that changes here on this screen when I switch between Apache Systems and Apache HVAC, in Apache HVAC, I have some special outside air flow rate options here at the bottom. And specifically, I have a checkbox that says, include this system outside air supply in my room and zone loads analysis. Now, by default, this box is going to be unchecked. And what that means is my ventilation load is going to be a system load and not a room or a zone load. So in a typical VAV system, I don't dump outside air directly into the space. Instead, I condition that outside air at my air handling unit and raw outside air never touches my space, at least through my mechanical system. So if you leave this box unchecked, that will continue to be the case. And when you evaluate room loads, you'll be looking only at the load in the room. So that's the gains and losses associated with the room. Things like solar gain, infiltration, conduction, uh, internal gains from lights, people, plug load, etc. If you do check the box to include the ventilation load as part of the room and zone loads, you can define what that ventilation rate is when the ventilation air flows and what temperature is to be used for, the, for that outside air. Much of this information can be found by hovering your mouse over the tooltip that's provided here in the dialog. A few other things change when I switch between Apache HVAC and Apache Systems. Uh, if you pick Apache Systems, you have the option for the auxiliary energy here at the bottom, which does not exist in the Apache HVAC. Something else to keep in mind, when I have the HVAC methodology set to Apache HVAC, I have this conditioned option which gives me three choices. Yes, no with free floating temperatures for the room loads, and no with the space tempered for room loads. 
So if I keep this at the default yes and say the space is conditioned, the space is going to be conditioned to whatever the heating and cooling set points are defined on this tab for the purposes of calculating my room and zone loads. If I change this to no, you'll see that those set points disappear and when my room loads are run, I will now allow this room to float. So any spaces on this template are going to float and the temperature will be a result of the gains and losses uh, as if there is no mechanical conditioning of the space. If I set this to no but tempered for room loads, I now have these fields have reappeared but it's no longer my set point and rather it's my temperature during heating loads and my temperature during cooling loads. And I have the same options to define what temperature I want this space to be when my um, room and zone loads calculations run. A final difference here, uh, if you've got this set to Apache systems, the building regulations tab for modeling UK compliance will be enabled. If you're set to Apache HVAC, that will be ghosted. So those are the basic differences between our two HVAC methodology options. A few other things that you'll want to know. Let's say, for example, I've created a model and I've imported all of my templates and built this model. And at some point I realized I meant for all of these to be the other HVAC methodology. So whether I selected HVAC and I want them to be Apache systems or I selected Apache systems and I need these to be in Apache HVAC. Perhaps this isn't a mistake. Perhaps I have built my model at an early stage to do some concept level envelope optimization type of analysis. And now I'm going to move forward with the project and need to build an Apache HVAC file. So I want to change my HVAC methodology in the middle of the project. Something that's important to note is that you cannot change this HVAC methodology at the room level. If you come in here to space data and if you try to do this in the room tabular edit, you'll see the same thing, but you're not able to make these changes. Instead, you'll need to make changes at the template level. So this is an example of a model where I've imported the PRM templates into the project. So I can come in here and for any template, I can switch between Apache HVAC and Apache systems. To make a global change like that, it might be helpful to use the building template manager uh, in tabular view, where I can select all of my templates and globally change them between Apache systems and Apache HVAC as needed. If you have any questions about HVAC methodology or any of the other new features in VE 2017, please don't hesitate to contact us in technical support at support at IESVE.com. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and view all of our VE 2017 videos.